Welcome back to Good Days in Law. Cody Dayonaf joins us today to tell us more about the Louisiana Elvis Festival. Cody, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, of course. So, uh, you know, first off, tell me a little bit about, I know I've already heard from people who have tried to get tickets, things are sold out by now. Yes, absolutely. A lot of people are so excited that you're coming here to Sin Law with some other tribute artists too. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the concerts. Uh, the Louisiana Elvis Festival is five days, uh, five shows of just nothing but the king and um, we've got five different shows paying tribute to Elvis uh, the King Creole extravaganza kicks us off tonight which was filmed down in New Orleans uh, one of my favorite Elvis movies is King Creole uh, then we have Elvis in Louisiana that is going to recreate Elvis in Shreveport where he got his start up at the Louisiana Hayride and some of his actual concerts recreating that he performed in Alexandria as well um, then we have Elvis 68 comeback which is the black leather just, I mean, I call that Superfly Elvis to me. <laughs> That's my favorite Elvis is the black leather. He, he, was so, he was like a panther. He was like so cool, calm and collected at that time in his life. Um, and then we have Elvis uh, in Hawaii, which is the concert that was seen all around the world. And then we have Elvis the King, which is all four eras of Elvis. Wow, and so there will be multiple opportunities for people to come and experience yes. these shows. Uh, and for those tickets that are not sold out yet, for those shows, yes. how do we get the tickets for the shows that are still available? The LouisianaElvisFestival.com or calling 352-789-7269. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, so you were telling me earlier, so it's you, some old, other artists too as well. Yes. There's a difference between tribute artist and an Elvis impersonator. Yes, a tribute artist, um, it's like a, it's a form of acting. So when we step on the stage, obviously we're all done up. We're in the gear. We've got everything on. And once we hit the stage, we are, we are assuming that role. But the minute that we get off the stage, we, it's just kind of like a light switch that we flip on and off. Um, it, sometimes the light switch flips on when we don't want it <laughs> to flip on, you know what I mean? Uh, when we're saying thank you very much or something like that. But, you know, it, it, I, I look at it like that. And an impersonator is, is more of a person who thinks they are Elvis. And mm. n there's never going to be another Elvis. Right. We know that. There's only one. Right. You know, um, you know God grace us with one of that it was like perfection and you just kind of dumped the whole bowl in there <laughs> you know what I mean um, but yeah that's the difference I, I think that it gets lost in translations with people a lot with um, with how people take what we do I think that there was a stigma for a long time of what when you mentioned Elvis you know people just thought they you know, okay there's a guy in a white jumpsuit but with the movie that came out in June and seeing Austin's performance and knowing the type of man and the type of life that he had, it, there's such a deeper connection to what he actually was and what he did for music and, and the people around him in the town, you know, of Memphis, Tennessee. Absolutely. And uh, I understand, too, that, you know, this is endorsed by Graceland. Yes. What does that mean? So we are completely licensed and endorsed by Graceland. That we means we have the stamp of approval of the estate and uh and i mean you're gonna see the best of the best nothing but the best these guys eat sleep and breathe this every day all day and they are they just take it they take it seriously you know they want to go out there and they want to put the best performance on and further the legacy of elvis and there could be some somebody that you know knows nothing about elvis that is like you know what? i'm gonna take a chance on this i don't know what to expect and then they're gonna walk away and they're like i'm an elvis fan now that means we did our job now, at what point did you become an Elvis fan? I was two years old. Wow. Two years old. Um, I was, how you say, a problem child. I couldn't sit <laughs> for anything. You know, my grandmother was actually sick with pneumonia. Oh, and wow. she put on a movie. It was kind of like the Hail Mary pass of all Hail Mary <laughs> passes. She was like, I'm going to try this. So she put in a movie called Follow That Dream. And I was mesmerized by Elvis. I was like, who is that? And I remember his million-dollar smile. That's what I remembered. And I remember that he always got the girl. <laughs> and and uh, Follow That Dream was the equivalent of, like, the Beverly Hillbillies of Elvis movies. <laughs> so, you know, and then I saw him in the Aloha suit, that white jumpsuit, and I was like, that's my superhero. Wow. Like, I was like, he has a cape. You know what I mean? Yes. So, so I mean, and it just kind of, like, went downhill from there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt, too, that you were blessed with uh, your 
gorgeous hair too <laughs> that you can also style to be like Elvis, yes. right? Because that's not a wig. No, it's not. It's, wow. It is. It is. It is all real. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and can you uh, can you give us a little preview? Can I ask you to sing uh, one of your favorite Elvis songs? Yeah, I think it's your favorite too. It is my favorite. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We're caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Because I love you too much, baby. Why can't you see what you're doing to me when you don't believe a word I'm saying? We can't go on together with suspicious minds. We can't build our dreams on suspicious minds. Woo, good job. <laughs> it's a little early. I don't know. I don't know if I get it, but but we got it. No, no, no. You did great. You did great. And what a wonderful, nice preview of what's to come tonight and all this weekend for the Louisiana yes. Elvis Festival. Thank you so much, Cody, for Thank coming so on for and me. telling us all about it and sharing your beautiful voice with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. And we'll be right back with more good day cinema right after this break.